The saying that a great soul never dies, rather it brings people together, came to the fore during the Thanksgiving Mass in memory of Lady Ngozi Omoji, as it drew people from all walks of life who benefited from the deceased's uh, generosity. The Catholic Bishop of Ekulobia, Catholic Diocese, Peter Cardinal Baleke, led other bishops and the clergy in the six months memorial mass held at the late Honorable Andrew Moji's compound in Ako village, Ezinifte, in Aguata local government area of Anambra State. Our correspondent, Ogotukworano, has the details. In a homely, the Catholic Bishop of Nsoka Diocese, Most Reverend Godfrey Onar, who said that the event coincided with the Feast of Solemnity of Mother of God, which dwell on the Holy Family of Joseph, Mary and Jesus, records the tensions of the Holy Family, stressing that no family is without a challenge. Most Reverend Onar said, in spite of the challenges, family is important as it is a place where values are transmitted silently to the children, noting that the deceased transmitted her generosity to her children and prayed that the good deeds of the Umojis will inspire others to do more for the benefit of the society. Mama, Lady Florence Ngozi Umoji at bottom. And that is her life, was her life. The Catholic Bishop of Okadaias' Most Reverend Polinus Ezoka for in an interview noted that late Lady Ngozi Umoji contributed a lot to the growth of the church and left many legacies and appeared to the family to follow the footprints of their late parents and commended the children for establishing an NGO in their memory to assist people in need. The member representing Aguata Federal Constituency, Honorable Chukuma Umoji, who is the first son of the deceased said their parents too taught them to understand that people are suffering and give them assistance without expecting anything in return which according to him is the foundation of charity adding that the family will continue to expand the charity work as nothing given to the society is too much considering the situation of the country honorable umoji said one needs to discomfort himself to make others happy pointing out that his mother lived charitably and he won't relent in touching lives and and thanked everyone who identified with them in the memorial service. Uh, the traditional ruler of Ezinifita, Igwe Chukuma Boboji, that of Enugu Umonia, Igwe Peter Ezamama, and the deceased daughter-in-law, Lady Ijoma Umoji, all bore good testimonies of the deceased's legacies. See what happened here today. The Busso always attract the attention. Widows group and other associations the deceased formed while alive made presentations to the family. Prayers and blessing of the deceased grave as well as thanksgiving featured during the memorial service. Ogotuku Orano for ABS News.